What are the problems with transrectal biopsies of the prostate? Traditional biopsies of the prostate are taken by passing needles through the rectum. This carries a risk of infection even with antibiotics and about 1-4% to of men may have a serious infection after transrectal prostate biopsies. There are more problems too. As the biopsy needles pass from the rectum, they can reach only the back of the prostate and so these needles may miss a tumour at the front of the prostate. These occur in about 20% of cases. Therefore, when a patient is told there is no cancer, this may be a false negative result. Transrectal biopsies are usually taken at regular steps throughout the prostate, although they are not truly random as often described. However, if there are several small tumours, e.g. the typically called pussycat tumours, a direct hit of one or two may be misinterpreted as representing a large tumour. This may give the impression of an important cancer and so results in a decision to treat when in fact this is unnecessary and so over treatment. The third problem with transrectal unguided biopsies relates to misclassification, i.e. a biopsy needle samples only the edge of a significant tumour. This results in the tumour being considered a low risk pussycat tumour when in fact it is actually a tiger and could lead to loss of life or other problems. The ideal biopsy would hit the centre of the cancer without risking infection and truly represent the importance of the disease that faces the patient. Therefore, the traditional pathway has multiple problems. We rely on PSA at the beginning, which overemphasizes men with inflammation or big prostates and misses men with cancer in small prostates. We use digital rectal examination, which is unreliable. And then we do a prostate biopsy through the rectum, sometimes called a transfecal biopsy, which may be unguided and miss important abnormalities, as well as introduce infection. We find cancer on a transrectal biopsy, but this may be an insignificant cancer and still result in overtreatment because it was not understood to be a low risk cancer. And we may also find that there's either no cancer, or we may feel there's insignificant cancer and so results in no treatment and the patient be discharged when in fact there is an important cancer present.